I am a servant. There is no work for me. I am timid and don't push myself to the fore. Indeed, I don't even push myself into line with the others. But that is only one reason for my non-employment. It's even possible that it has nothing to do with my non-employment. In any case, the main thing is that I am not called upon to serve. Others have been called, yet they have not tried harder than I. Indeed, perhaps they have not even felt the desire to be called. Whereas I, at least sometimes, have felt it very strongly. So I lie on the pallet in the servant's hall. Stare at the beams in the ceiling. Fall asleep, wake up, and promptly fall asleep again. Occasionally I walk over to the tavern where they sell a sour beer. Occasionally I have even poured away a glass in disgust. But at other times I drink it. I like sitting there because from behind the closed little window, without the possibility of being discovered, I can see across to the windows of our house. Not that one sees very much there, to my knowledge. Only the windows of the corridors look out to the street. And moreover, not even those of the corridors leading to my employer's apartment. But it is also possible that I am mistaken. Someone without my having asked him once said so. The general impression of this house front confirms this. Only rarely are the windows open, and when this does occur, it is done by a servant who may lean against the balustrade to look down for a while. It follows, therefore, that these are corridors where he cannot be taken by surprise. As a matter of fact, I am not personally acquainted with these servants. Those who are permanently employed upstairs sleep elsewhere, not in my room. Once, when I arrived at the tavern, a guest was sitting at my observation post. I did not dare look at him closely. I was about to turn around in the door and leave. The guest, however, called me over, and it turned out that he too was a servant whom I had once seen somewhere before, but without having spoken to him. Why do you want to run away? Sit down and have a drink, I'll pay. So I sat down. He asked me several things, but I couldn't answer. Indeed, I didn't even understand his question, so I said, Perhaps you are sorry now that you invited me, so I'd better go. I was about to get up, but he stretched his hand out over the table and pressed me down. Stay, he said. That was only a test. He who does not answer the questions has passed the test.